I'm Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a vintage look for your images. This can work especially well for portraits and wedding photography. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I've got my image here and um, this can work especially well with sort of lighter shot images in natural light um, rather than kind of dark and dingy images because um, this kind of vintage look does work best on, on that style of, of image especially portraits and wedding photography like I said in the intro so first off I usually use a gradient map so I come down here to the adjustments panel click on gradient map I'm going to change this to 30% on the opacity mm -hmm. just so we can see what we're doing click on this gradient editor and I'm going to choose a purple tone quite a vivid vibrant tone maybe something like that click OK and on this end of the scale I'm going to choose a nice vibrant orange something like that click OK click OK now just before I close that actually let's go back to that if you click on save here we can actually save this as a preset so click save and I'm going to click on new and I'll add that to my presets click OK there I'm going to add a curve layer an S curve just to add some contrast to the image something like that probably going to use a matte effect as well For those of you who are new to the channel, I did a retouching tutorial on the matte effect, so you can watch that video in the link in the description. I also did a tutorial on how to create a cinematic look using gradient maps, so go ahead and watch those as well after this video. So that's pretty much done for the adjustment layers, but I am going to add some lighting effects using a blank layer. So I come down here to create a new layer, I'm going to get my paintbrush tool here, make sure you're on 100% opacity. And I'm going to use the colours that were similar to the gradient map, so I'm going to pick a purple. Uh, probably a bit more vibrant than that actually, click OK. And then I'm going to use an orange as well. And on this layer here I'm literally going to paint these two colours here. go for something like that. And on your blending mode I'm going to go to colour dodge and then reduce the opacity to whatever you see fit and it just adds a nice bit of lighting effects to the image. Now you don't have to go as vibrant as that you can reduce the opacity but it just adds some really nice lighting effects to the image and you can tweak it if you wish. Let's change the two colours. I quite like the idea of the purple being on the hair there and then the orange just on the other side but it does add some great effects to your image and really brings the whole vintage look together. I'm just going to remove some of that from her face. And if you want as well, you can always add a lens flare. You can download these from the internet or you can use the built-in filter on Photoshop. So we're going to go to filter, render and lens flare. I'm just going to add a bit of a lens flare here at the top. There are a different variety of lens flares here. I'm going to go for the top one, click OK. And it just adds a bit more light into the shot. Let's group those together before and after. 
So here we have another image and I'm going to use the same techniques as I did in the previous image. So I'm going to get my gradient map here. I'm going to choose those same settings that I used before. So we've got the purple and the orange. I'm going to choose the opacity as 30% as a good starting point. So you can always reduce or increase that if you wish. I'm going to get my curve layer and add some contrast to the image. I'm going to create my matte effect using the curves layer. And I'm going to add my colour effects. So make sure you're on 100% opacity and just paint your colours onto this brand new layer. I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge. I'm going to change the opacity to 25%. I'm just going to erase some from her face as well. I'm just going to reduce the opacity just a bit more actually. And there we have before and after. And if you think it's a little bit overpowering you can always reduce the opacity if you wish to maybe 50 or maybe 75% it's up to you whatever you wish whatever you think looks right for your tastes and that's how you create the vintage look in Photoshop. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have don't forget to give it a like and of course you can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me it's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos don't forget to check out tipsquirrel.com for the latest photoshop and lightroom tutorials you can follow me on instagram at photoshopfran and on twitter at photoshoppro thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week <laughs>